Kommen, kann gehen. Die Schiff-Schöne-Schöne-Schöne. Der Schiff, 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 Schiff. Futsche! Good morning, welcome to the Gahnawagi Sports Complex for this Baby Blue Memories presentation. I am Brandon Bordeaux. This game brought to you by Slash Cavation, Landscaping and Snow Removal. Slash those costs without slashing your wallet. Call Slash Cavation today at 450-638-0691 or 514-893-1682. It's a novice B matchup featuring the Gahnawagi Mohawks playing host to Il Perot. Now there are two teams from Il Perot. One team is called the Riverier, the other team is just called Il Perot. This is the team that's considered to be Il Perot. So if I do call them the Riverier by mistake, I'm sorry about that. But it is just Il Perot that is in. On the Adaze Day moving up to the wing and a couple of lineup changes. We'll have those coming up for you in just a little bit. Starting net minders, Marcus Muncaster in goal for Il Perot. And Hayes Horn in net for the Mohawks as Il Perot comes back the other way. In the white, and now it's shot up the wing. And that'll get out to neutralize. Coming back to get the puck is number 49, that's Brody Ivet. Ivet shoots it down the ice, hits a stick and goes back into the corner. So right as Sorhey Norton will have to give chase to the puck here. Norton up the wing. And right there to Daze Lahash. And yet Daze Day there as well. Knocked away and now shot back up to an open wing. Kept alive by Ibit. Ibit shoots it towards the goal. Picked up by right there to Daze Lahash. And here he goes. Lahash. Lahash gets caught up along the wall. And now Ryan Astorhe Norton bangs it off the boards. Puck gets out. Wrote there to Dazi Lahash. Trying to muscle the puck free. Il Perot doing a good job here in this opening uh, sequence. A minute 20 gone and the puck has been exclusively in Gahnawagi territory. Thrown out in front and Norton does a good job hammering the puck back up to neutralize. Coming back to the puck is Chel Chloe Harbour, number 20, 44. Harbor, and now it's shot back down into Gahnawagi territory. Lahash gives chase to the puck. Lahash stripped, and Lahash trying to find room out there. Plays it up to an open wing, knocked away by Onyadaze Day. Conlon foot gets the puck up to neutralize. And here goes Conlon. Conlon skates up with the puck. Conlon on his back and threw it out in front. Knocked on goal, and then now it comes back into the corner. Overskated by a couple of Il Perot players. And it comes back up to the wing. Hunter Jacobs playing defense today. Kept the play alive. And Charlotte Snow, who's been moved up back up to the wing. Couple of changes. Amante Horn on defense. Charlotte Snow on the wing. After playing defense in the last game of the regular season. And Justin says he really likes having players like Charlotte and Amante who are like Swiss Army knives out there. You can play in any position without a loss of performance. Great Hunter Jacobs is going to bring it in. He will be touching the puck offside though. Play is finally called. Our first whistle here. Two minutes, 38 seconds left to go in the period. Yeah, Justin making those changes. We're seeing Charlotte move back to the wing and Amante being moved up to, or back I should say, to defense. Or Coach Horn was saying before he likes having those... Uh, Swiss Army Knife players. Next line out there, Nashton Mayo on the wing. Ajay Waduni Homer at center. He's made a good, good he's done a good job of transitioning. Uh, only no, no only absence for the Bees today. There is no uh, there's no Grayson Jacobs. He's not in the lineup today. Homer gives chase to the puck, chasing down Celine Vedar, number 54. Played up to an open wing. And now banked off the boards by Ryder McCumber. The puck lobs to neutral ice. And it's shot open to an open wing. Will it go far enough for icing? 
Icing waved off. And a good back check by Ryder McCumber. McCumber. Lost the puck. Scooped up by Il Perot. Comes out in front. Here's the shot and Hayes Horn answers the foul. As she denied. Kelly had Sunderham, who was in tight. Kelly had Sunderham with the puck now. And I apologize if I'm saying that name incorrectly. I was rehearsing with the coach before the game. Here's a shot. Read on it wins! And it's going to be poked away from the danger area. And now the Mohawks lose the puck at center ice. Adeo Duny Homer knocks the puck free from Gael Primo, number 45. Shift back into Gahnawage territory. Homer behind his own goal. Aj Waduni Homer directing positions from behind the net. Good pass up to Nerodazi Lahash. Now Ryan Astorhe Norton has to come back defensively. Norton overskates the puck, knocked back to the point. Here's a shot blocked. And the Mohawks get it out. Here goes Lahash. A ill pro player blows the tire. Rotana Dazi Lahash saves a rebound. And it's over skating. And now back comes Il Perot with a chance. One man back. Here's a shot. Hayes Horn to save a rebound. Oh, it's bad upon. End to end action at both ends of the ice. Still no goals. Now Lahash lost the puck. It's banged off the boards. Into neutral ice. Here goes Il Perot again. It's Luca Rosa. Shooting one. Hayes Horn to save and so hang out with the puck. Four minutes and 48 seconds left to go in period one. No score. Got Milwaukee taking on Il Perot. Brandon Bordeaux with you for Baby Blue Memories. This game brought to you by Slash Cavation. Slash snow removal costs, not slash your wallet. Call them today. 450-638-0691 or 514-893-1682. Face off control by Il Perot. Oh, Hayes Horn. Another stop. Incredible save by Hayes Horn, stretching out the left pad and keeping this game scoreless. I think our team owns, owes her uh, a nice big glass of uh, apple juice after this game, or cake, a birthday cake. It's not it's not saying it's Hayes' birthday, but wow, she is uh, definitely delivered today. Still no score up to this point. Back come the Mohawks. Amante Horn overskates the puck. And it's brought back in by Il Perot. There's a good breakup. Conlin foot circles back to the Mohawks. Conlin coming by. Conlin still has the puck. Conlin a shot. Save. Big stop by Muncaster. And certainly not to say that while Hayeshorn has been brilliant on one side, it hasn't been the same way on this side. A couple of big saves by Marcus Muncaster to keep this game scoreless. Hunter Jacobs knocks the puck in. Delayed offside. Day comes back in. They're going to say he's offside. Good job by Day to come back. And now back comes Il Perot. It's shot off the boards. Shot towards the net. Hayeshorn's got it. And she'll hang on. 3.30 to go in period one of a, uh, a game that's been up and down. Long-haired line out there. We have Bella Deer, Ryder McCumber, and Charlotte Snow up front. Ryder in the middle. So Charlotte's been moved basically everywhere throughout this season, as has Bella up front. She's played center as well. Dustin Horn mixing up the lines. As Ryder McCumber comes back and knocks it free. Back comes McCumber skating up the ice. Makes the move through two defenders. Here goes Ryder McCumber. Coming back. Ryder McCumber. Coming right in. Ryder shoots. Oh, what a save by Muncaster. Ryder McCumber from one end of the ice to the other, but the puck did not know into the net. And now here's a break the other way. 
Coming back is Jose Waduni Homer. Or sorry, right in the store. Hey, Norton makes the play. Snow bangs it up off the ball boards. Picked up by Lahas. Lahas got it up to right of McCumber. McCumber over skates the puck. Deer knocks it back up. Ryder and Bella and Charlotte fight for the puck. They get it out back towards the blue line. Bella Deer on the intercept. Deer skating up the ice. Bella Deer, ho! Oh! And the puck knocked off her stick. Good fight by Bella, and the puck's going to be cleared all the way down. Icing is called. 2.15 left to go in period one. No score here, the Schwartz Complex. This Baby Blue Memories presentation is brought to you by Slash Cavation. Call them up today, 450-638-0691. Believe it or not, folks, snow will be coming at some point in time this year. Be ready for it by calling Slash Cavation, 450-638-0691. Face off coming up to the right of the Opero goal. Kerr Korn on one side. Conlon foot in the middle. And Ajay Waduni Homer moves from center. He's now at the wings. Back comes Il Perot. Coming right in. And knocked away by Amante Horn. That comes back to the point. Looking is Maximus Mudcaster shooting it towards the goal. It's blocked. A follow-up chance intercepted by Amante Horn. And he throws it up the ice. The point was uh, the wing was vacated, however. Knocked back. And the puck gets out. And here goes Conlon foot for the Mohawks. Conlon looking. Conlon shooting one. See the rebound and Hunter Jacobs over skated the puck. Oh, good awareness there by Conlon foot. He knew he didn't have much of a shot, so he just had to let it go. Hunter on the keep in. Good job by Hunter Jacobs. Knocking it back to an open wing. Intercepted and shot off of a Mohawks skate and out Nashton Mayo comes back for the Mohawks Mayo falls but made the play Il Perot on the intercept scooped up by Il Perot we're down to the final minute of period one Conlon Foote tries to throw it out in front and Ajay Wadidi Homer had the puck knocked away scooped up by Gael Primo, number 45, centering a attempt to block. Played up to Ajay Waduni, Homer. Homer. And intercepted by Opero. Here's an opportunity. It rolls on net. Hayeshorn leaves it there for her defenseman. Cleared up. Intercepted by Opero. And now it's going to be knocked out and it gets out into the neutral ice. Primo still offside. He's got to tag up. And while that's taking place, the Mohawks look to break up. Go up there to Dazi Lahash. Coming back. And that will do it. Well, what an opening period. That's still no score at the sports complex. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Welcome back to the second period of play, Brandon Bordeaux for Baby Blue Memories. This game brought to you by Slash Cavation. Call them up today, 450-630-0691, 514-893-1682. Second period of this novice B game featuring Il Perot and the Zahnawagi Mohawks. Here comes Onyetaze Day. Had the puck knocked away. Ryan Astor, Hayden Norton shoots it in. The Mohawks, in league play, they have seven goals for in five games. The defense has been extremely stingy, so they 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 tend to play a lot of these low-scoring games, and the puck will be shot in the length of the ice. That's going to go far enough. Icing is called. But the defense all year for the Mohawks, no matter who they've had back there, has been solid. And, of course, it doesn't hurt to have a goalie like Hayes Horn, who has been outstanding throughout the course of the regular season. Face-off coming up to the right of the Opero goal. Ryder McCumber on one wing. And it does a day. 
on the other on the other. So they have three lefties out there. It's uh, Nash and Bayo taking the draw. Of course, the Mohawks are doing this because Amante Horn, their other center, actually moved up, uh, moved back to play defense today. Aston Mayo, and it's sent over to an open wing, deflected, and it gets out. McCumber overskated the pass, intercepted a good pitch in there by Ryan Astorke Norton. Kept alive, Norton. Mayo overskated, and back comes Joe Perot, and a good back check by Rotner Adazi Lahash. Dave, and it's knocked back to center, intercepted. Here goes Ryder McCumber, moving on in, he scores! Ryder McCumber, Mohawks on the board, it's 1-0. What a play by McCumber. He comes in, and this is an excellent defensive sequence by the Mohawks here. Right in the store, hey, Norton makes a good play. And then the help and the support. And then Ryder McCumber finds the seeds. He cuts to the goal, and he puts the Mohawks on top by a score of 1-2-0. Hunter Jacobs throws it up the ice, intercepted and kept alive by number 54, Celine Badar. Badar throws it up in front, knocked away, it hit a skate, and now it's picked up and shot back into neutral ice. Marks the miss Muncaster, the lone man back, and makes a good play here on the second opportunity. Hunter Jacobs shoots it. And this will go down, icing waved off. And thrown up to an open wing. Good job by Kirk Horn. Belladier with the steal, but now they have to come back. El Perot skating back. Mohawks have their two defensemen in stride. Coming back and Snow, what a play! Or Belladier with the second effort on defense. Here's a shot off the side of the net. Good job by Bella back checking. Now, Hunter Jacobs cuts to the open wing, tries to chip it out, cannot. Now the puck overskated, picked up by Opero. Here's a shot, blocked. Amante Horn does a good job of getting a stick in the lane. Here goes Horn. Lost the puck, knocked back in by Cillian Dadar, and a good job by Opero, keeping the Mohawks pinned in their own zone. One player goes to the bench. Throwing up the ice, it hits a stick. Knocked away, but now Hunter Jacobs locked the puck. Still not out of the zone. Snow. Now oh, Hunter Jacobs. A shot is blocked, the second try. Picked up by the Mohawks. And cleared, not out. It, good job by Badar, but the puck gets by her. And back comes Horn. Amante Horns coming back. Amati Horn, SCORES! That was a minute and a half of great defense and then just a little breakout and Amati Horn makes it 2-0 Gahnawake after some excellent uh, defense by the Mohawks. Defense leading the offense. This team, when they lock down defensively, are very formidable. Amante Horn puts the Mohawks up by two. Throw it there to Azi Lahash. Lost the puck. Lahash blocked the initial pass. And now it's finally knocked back to an open wing. Back come the Mohawks. It's Conlon Foot skating up the ice. Foot. Oh, he's going to put his teammate offside here. That extra move. Kind of froze the uh, El Perro, uh, the Mo rest of the Mohawks, so we'll have an offside call coming up. 2 nothing. Gahnawagi leading El Perro, 5.52 left to go in the second.
I feel like I'm a, I'm a graybeard here because I'm starting to recognize like a lot of the, a lot of these players just by their parents and how I've played with or against a lot of these parents. And Justin Horn was my uh, my my teammate for years in Dunhawagi Minor Hockey. I play lacrosse with Owen Mayo, the father of Nashton. And then, as we have an icing call here, even uh, siblings and older siblings. Uh, Charlotte Snow, for example, I covered her sister who played in the North American Indigenous Games. And then also, Ajay Waduni Homer played hockey with his father. So, it's a small town. Maybe either that or I just really am a grizzled graybeard now that the age of 30. We say, happy 2019 to all of you. Let's see if the Mohawks can conjure up a win here. Up 2 nothing. Going over to an open wing. Nobody there. Ryan Estorje Norton. Mayo. Throwing up the ice. And that's going to go back to center. Right there to Dazi Lahash. The last man back. And Lahash keeps the play alive. Here he goes. Lahash coming right in. Lahash shoots. No! Mayo on the doorstep. Ten jam it in. It stays 2 nothing. Big stop by Marcus Muncaster on right there to Dazi Lahash. Who thought he had his third goal of the season in league play kept alive or sorry that would be goal number four I think for him in league play that comes Il Perot though and a good stick check by Lahash coming back defensively Conlin foot overskates the puck picked up by Lahash Lahash makes a couple of moves and Conlin picks it up Conlin foot back the other way foot Shoots towards the goal, not on the target. Rebound hops out the other side. Picked up by Ryder McCumber. Lost the puck. Ryder. And now picked up by Opero. Here they come. And a good stick check by Amonte Horn. That's why they put him back on defense today. Ajay Waduni Homer sends it up the ice. Horn coming back. And a long stretch pass intended for a day. Pass missed him. And, and now Hunter Jacobs falls. A chance for El Perot. He's hoarding the save. A rebound knocked away. Now El Perot. Harbor. Or sorry. Bader. Bader, number 54. Bader. Throwing up the ice by the number 71. We don't have a 71 here. And the puck is going to be shot all the way down. Icing waved off. We're down to the final 3.30 of this first period of play, second period of play. 2 0 Mohawks leading. Ryder McCumber with the steal. It comes back to the point. Amante Horn shooting one. Oh, what a save! I don't know how Mumcaster picked it up. He might have just stuck it at the last second. And so it went through a maze of legs and got onto the goal. But a good stop there by the Il Perot tender. Kirk Horn, forechecking. The puck knocked back away by Amante Horn. Now Day, Ryder McCumber, chips it out looking for Kirk Horn. Day. A collision at the blue line. Now here goes Amante Horn picking up the puck. Amante shoots save and a rebound went out the other side. Good pressure by the Mohawks now. Hunter lost the puck. And the puck gets out. Hunter brings it in. Oh, the Mohawks got to get out outside the zone. There's at least two of them trapped in there. Everybody trying to play the role of assistant coach right now on the Mohawk side of the bleachers. Unbelievably, play still continues as they never brought it back in offside. Or at least they never touched the puck. 2-0 scoreline Mohawks, final two minutes. Intercepted, and here come the Mohawks. Ryder McCumber with the steal, a shot. Whoa, that hopped out the other side. Well, that puck's on edge and takes funny bounces. Hunter Jenkins with an excellent keeping. 
Loose in front of the goal. Ryder. No. Boy, he has an extra pep in his step today, wouldn't you say? You see him working hard. McCumber. And that pass hits a leg, goes harmlessly out the other side. Comes back to the point. Horn spins and shoots in that block. El Perot has to shoot the puck out, and they will. That's going to go far enough. Icing will be called. 112 left to go here in period number two. The Mohawks were that close to taking a 3 0 lead. Still 2 0, got no longer. 2 0 scoreline. Mohawks leading face off to the right of Marcus Muncaster. Uh, the puck is tied up. Mayo. And now Rote there to Dazi Lahash. Mayo coming back defensively and he makes it, does a good job. Snow gets it up to Lahash. Lahash overskated the puck, picked up by El Perot, and sent up to center and down the ice. And it goes far enough again. Icing called 50.7 seconds left to go in period two. Recapping the scoring here, uh, Ryder McCumber and Amante Horn, the only goals up to this point. Hayes Horn was excellent in that first period of play. Goaltending on both sides has been good. The Mohawks defense, like it has been throughout the year, has been excellent as well. 2-0 scoreline in favor of Gahnawagi. Right there to Dazi Lahash. Plays it behind the net, thrown around the horn. Back comes El Perot. Centering feed is picked up. Jacinto has the man cutting to the goal. He scores. J.L. Primo with 28.6 seconds to go in period two. She's a ball game, folks. 2-1 scoreline. Gael Primo cuts to the goal, is the recipient of an excellent pass from Greg, Gregory Jacinto. And the Mohawks are on, or sorry, the River Il Perot is on the board. It's 2-1. Remember, as I said before, there are two teams from Il Perot in this league. One team is Il Perot. The other team is simply called the Riverdier. And they will do Homer. Picks up the puck. Homer skating back up the ice. 16 seconds left. He's got a nice little sheet of white in front of him. He shoots that hits a leg. Homer picks it back up. 10 seconds to go. Comes back to the point. Right in the score. Hey, Norton makes the move. He's got to shoot it. He does. Not on the target. And time runs out on period number two. 2-1 to one scoreline, Mohawks over Oprah, we're back with period 3, you're watching Baby Blue Memories. <laughs> 18 and a half minutes separate Gahnawagi from victory number 3 on the regular season here in Novice B action. But they're only on top by one goal. Let's see what happens here as Il Perot in white wins the faceoff. Mohawks come back the other way though. It's Ryder McCumber. Boy, he's been all over the ice, hasn't he? Ryder coming in. Ryder shoots. Oh, and a nice pad save made by Muncaster. Kept alive by Hunter Jacobs. Ryder overskates the puck. He makes the move. Chipped away. Good back checking by the Mohawks, Amante Horn. And now Hunter Jenkins skating up the ice. Hunter lets a rip. Saved by Muncaster. I like that shot by Hunter Jenkins. You know what? I really do. I think it's a great chance at this lead, at this level. If you shoot the puck hard enough, no matter where the location is, there's a good chance that it might go in the net. Or at least it'll force the goaltender to make a big stop. And Mudcaster had to do that there. Kirk Horn taking the draw. Along with Day and Charlotte Snow who's out there. Lahash. Let's, let's it go. It's blocked in front of the net. 
Charlotte Snow on the steal. Knocked down. Puck comes back to the point. Right in the store. Hey, Norton kept it alive. And now it's poked up the ice. Coming back is Lahash. It's a breakaway. And the puck is on edge. Bad luck for Il Perot. Thrown out in front and they hit the side of the goal. And the puck is sent over to an open wing. Snow the first one on it. Can't quite get it out. Dave. And now Lahash behind his own goal. Throw it there to Daze Lahash. Patiently moves the puck up to Day. Day had it knocked away. Still loose. And a good pinch there by uh, Jacobs. Or Lahash, sorry, knocks the puck away. Sent up by Snow. It gets out. And Snow backhands it to an open wing. Good defense there by the Mohawks. A centering feed blocked by Kirk Horn. It comes to an open wing. Giving chase to the puck is Norton. And it's shot back in. Offside, delayed here, so they're going to have to retreat back. 15.45 to go in period number three. They overskated the puck. Still loose in front of the Mohawks bench. Primo, and Snow knocks it back to center ice. Norton, trying to go up. Norton had it knocked away. Norton, and now Snow comes back defensively. Lahash has to get rid of the puck. He does, and a good pass. On the money today. On the Adaze Day, skating up. Day, across the blue line. Day threw it out in front. The centering feet blocked. The second try, he got a whistle. Six men on the ice against Il Perot. Power play coming up for the Mohawks. They almost got caught earlier, and it looks like they have been caught here. So the Mohawks with a crucial power play coming up here, I believe. That was the initial call. Unless they're changing it. Two to one scoreline this game brought to you by Slash Cavation. Slash snow removal costs and time. Don't slash your wallet. Call them today 450-638-0691 or 514-893-1682. Uh, El Perot does not have someone in the box. This is not good be for El Perot because the longer they take, the closer this game is to being over. Remember that. The, the ti time is still, there's still 14-15 left, but sooner or later, that's going to be Gahnawagi's biggest friend and El Perot's biggest enemy. And I think the faceoff should be in the defensive zone. Yes, there we go. There we go. They figured it out. Good collective uh, officiating there as the Made sure that everything was all right, everything's okay. Face off coming up to the left of the Oparo row. Belladier takes the draw, comes back to the point. Hunter Jacobs kept the play alive. And it got caught, caught up in someone's skate. Knocked back to neutral ice. Here goes Oparo. Hunter, the low man back. A shot is blocked. And Amante Horn backhands it off the boards. Knocked away. And Conlon Foot with the steal. Here goes Conlon Foot. Conlon Foot speeding up with it. Foot. Backhander not on the target. Thrown out in front. Nobody there. Kept alive. Horn shoots. Blocked. And it goes to the opposite side. Foot. And it comes back off the uh, side of the wall. Played up the boards. Amante has to be taking this. He does. But the puck does get out. Intercepted by the Mohawks. Foot shoots. Not on the target. Picked back up by Conlon. Conlon foot. Throws it to an open wing. Hunter Jenkins. Back to the point. Good pass. Amante a backhander. Intercepted. Amate stripped it away. And he brings it in on the offside. Boy, right, that could have been dangerous as uh, Braden uh, Bader, Bader had a good opportunity there. Blocking the first couple of shots and then eventually 
coming back out. But a good back check by Amate Horn. We're down to the last 29 seconds of, of this uh, penalty. 11.45 and counting remaining period three. 2-1 scoreline. Throw it there to Dazi Lahash. Makes the move. Lahash. Backhander. No, it's blocked before it got to the goal. I think it actually forced the netminder to make a stop. Lahash. Back to the point. Ajay Waduni Homer. Two and towards the net. It's blocked. And the puck gets out. Lahash is skating back. And Lahash makes the good play. Look at it, Nazi Lahash coming back for the Mohawks. Lahash moving on in. Save. Muncaster answers the bell. Comes back to the point. Norton can't keep it alive. The lead offside. Penalty's over. Final 11 minutes. And they blow it. Dead with 10 50 remaining. In this third period of play, the Mohawks leading Oprah 0 2 1. Don't forget, Slash Cavation is here just in time for the winter months. Slash time and cost on snow removal, not slashing your wallet. Call them up 450 638 0691. They've been a proud sponsor of Baby Blue Memories Hockey all season long. Ryder McCumber gives chase to the puck. It looks like Brody Ivett, the first one there. McCumber. Made the play, but nobody there to pick it up for Gahnawage. Now McCumber ends up with the puck, and he makes the play into the corner from his knees. No pro taking their time. Dave blocked it. Ryder McCumber lost the puck. And it's a breakaway, maybe. Gail Primo, the most dangerous Riverier. And what a defensive play by the Mohawks. Uh, Ajay with Dooney Homer coming back? No, that's right in the store. Hayden Norton who made the play. Lahash coming back up. Day throws it up to an open wing. And I think it's going to go too far. Icing waved off. Ryder McCumber goes to the puck. McCumber throws it around the horn. Right in the store. Hayden Norton. Makes the play. Now, uh, Oprah o player blows the tire. Thrown out in front. Back to the point. Lahash shoots. Blocked. Norton shoots. That's blocked. A David Dooney Homer trying to throw it out in front. Homer can't find it. Day a shot. Homer the rebound. No. And it's going to be cleared by Oprah o. Or at least to the blue line. Lahash kept it alive momentarily. Now it gets out. Lahash, Day, they fight for it in front of the penalty box. 8.40 to go here in period three. 2-1 scoreline in favor of the Gahnawagi Mohawks. Ajay Waduni Homer has the puck roll off his stick and the puck gets out. Back comes Joe Perot. Ryder McCumber, the lone man back. Now he's got a couple of teammates defensively. Ryder McCumber lost the puck. Day picks it back up and it does a day. It's stolen. Right in the store, Hayden Norton, excellent defense. Right in McCumber coming back. McCumber, McCumber coming in. Right in McCumber lost the puck. Good defensive play by Chloe, Bo Adar, num or sorry, Chloe Harbor, number 44. Shot back in. The lead offside. I think with Dooney Homer doesn't realize it. It's offside with 7.45 left to go in period three. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Here we go. 7.20 to go in the third. Got Milwaukee 2, Il Perro 1. Now Charlotte Snow back in her, I guess, the position she's played the most this year, center. With Nashton Mayo out there and Kirk Horn. Look at here, Gail Primo. Coming back for Il Perot. Gail Primo. Primo. Trying to stuff it in from behind. And it's knocked away. Sent up to an open wing. Delayed offside. Snow. And now it's stolen by Il Perot. 
Right, Snow comes back defensively. Fans on the clearing attempt. Gets to the forehand, knocked away by Primo. Yeah, Primo. Gets taken out of the play. Still with the puck. But now the Mohawks gain possession. And played off the boards. Not out. Amante Horn. Amante looking. And a beautiful pass to Ashton Mayo, who is calling for it. And Mayo gets the center and shoots it in. That's an excellent call by Nashton Mayo and a great pass by uh, Amante Horn right on the money with that pass. Amante shoots. It's blocked. Snow gives chase to the puck. Charlotte. And now El Perot picks it up. It comes back towards the point. Hunter Jacobs keeps it alive. Excellent job. But he's a little slow to get up. And they're still not, they still haven't blown it. Now they will. And Hunter Jacobs is down. We are going to film away from the, the injured player. In respect of uh, the player being slow to get up. It looks like he's up to a vertical now. But hopefully he was just winded and nothing worse. All this comes with five minutes left in a two to one game. Here we go, folks. It's the ride to the finish line. Hope you've enjoyed the first uh, 50 minutes of the game here on Baby Blue Memories. Face off coming up outside the Opero Blue Line. Conlon Foot takes the draw. Alongside Onyet Daze Day, Bella Deer on the wing as well. And the puck doesn't go very far. That's okay for Gahnawaga. They currently have the lead. Shot the length of the ice. Will they go far enough for icing? No, it doesn't. And Dane takes a tumble. And oh, Conlon Foot might have gotten away with a, a free arm. Foot picks it up. Lost the puck and it's scooped up behind the net by right there at the Lahash. Anxious moments here for the Mohawks. Lahash, he shouldn't have skated out in front. Oh! Dangerous opportunity for El Perot. Thrown out in front. Hayes Horn. She's got it. And she'll cover the puck with four minutes left to go. In the third. Hold on to your seats, folks. Face off coming up to the left of the Gahnawaga goal. Conlon Foot. He'd be the guy to take it. Going out in front. Here's a chance. Not on the target. Norton up the boards. Looking for Conlon. Stolen. And a shot and a flexion that goes to an open wing. Picked up by Opero. Lahash gets the puck out. And El Perot's forced to tag up. Right in the store, hey Norton. Up the ice. Day up the wing. First attempt blocked. The second try. Day. Stolen. It's going to land on goal. Hayes Horn has to hang on to the puck. If this was a tournament game, Justin One would have called the timeout right now to try and settle his troops down. El Perot, you got it. If you're El Perot, you absolutely have to go for it here. Down two to one with 235 and counting remaining. If you're the Mohawks, just keep playing the way you're playing. Hold on tightly. And it's picked up by Eddie with Dooney Homer. Homer brings it up. Back check. And a good back check by Gail Primo. Homer still skating up with the puck. Homer knocked down by Harbor. And Mayo collides with Primo and the puck goes into the opposite corner. Throwing up the ice. Fanned on. And a centering feed kept alive by Hunter Jacobs. And now it's Ryder McCumber, the lone man back. And what a job by Ryder. Overskated by the Mohawks. Hunter Jacobs has to sk skate back. Jacobs does, but the puck takes a funny hop off his stick. Now it's knocked away. 
Ryder McCumber up the center ice. Knocked away. Ryder skates up with it. Ryder's got the puck now. Here goes Ryder McCumber. Partial two on one. Ryder. And he got caught from behind by Harbour. Hunter Jacobs behind the goal. And it's intercepted by El Perot. Jacobs keeps the play alive. Mayo on the steal. Mayo shoots it towards the net. It's going to not land on the target. De La Duny Homer. Back to the point. Amante Horn shoots it wide of the target. Final minute. Here we go. 2 1 score line. Hunter Jacobs tries to throw it out in front. It's intercepted. Mayo kept the play alive. 45 seconds left. El Pro needs a goal to 200 feet away from theirs. A shot by Homer. Not on the target. Down to the final 40. Homer the steal. Homer the right. Hunter Jacobs shoots. Not on the target. 30 seconds left to go. And it's kept alive by the Mohawks. Amante Horn with the steal. Horn shoots. No. And El Pro's got it. 20 seconds left. El Perot's got to line up. 15 seconds left to go. El Perot needs to line up the Mohawks. Why is he changing? The clock goes off and that's going to do it. Time runs out on El Perot. And it's a victory this afternoon for the Gahnawagi Mohawks. They are 3-3 three three in league play. El Perot falls to 0-4. What a finish here at the Gahnawagi Sports Complex. Now it's time to give out the first puck of 2019. Not going to be easy for me. So many names and numbers come to mind. Today's game MVP, because of the effort, the hustle, and the plays, we got to give it to Melody Deer, number eight. She was excellent in this game today. Defensively, she was locked. And the number one thing is if you play good defense, you're not going to lose. But the Mohawks got just enough on offense today to take this one home by a final score of 2-1. to one. Now we'll go for joining us here on Baby Blue Memories. I'm Brandon Bordeaux saying Onagiwahi from the Gahnawage Sports Complex.